Hello, this is Katie and this is day 21 for a video a day. Um, I made three cards. I unfortunately am not showing you the process. I apologize because that bothers me as well when people only show what they made and not how to do it. But this is kind of a different story because these are um, haunted house cut files from my silhouette. I have a silhouette portrait. I had to mess with it um, to begin with. I had to reinstall the software from the disc, first of all. And then I had to, um, uh, I think I had to update it. And then it wouldn't cut and I did a Google search of the message I was getting. It was saying my cutting mat was set to one that was too large. I could tell in the, in the computer it was set to cameo which is big and not like a um, eight and a half by 11 which is the portrait that I have and I just couldn't see where to change it so I googled it and somebody had posted in a Facebook group I guess that that problem and someone posted a picture of where to change it so that really helped I was very appreciative of that and so I fixed it to portrait it must have reset itself or something because of the update so then I finally got it to cut I originally had my thicker black paper and I cut one of the haunted houses, which wasn't as interesting as these three. Um, and it wasn't very good, but I used the thinner, like 65 pound paper from Michaels for these. And it cuts thinner paper a lot better. Um, I'm sure there's some like knife deepening setting I could change, but I don't know enough about the silhouette to do that. So I usually just do basic cut files, but I wanted to show you the three that I made for today's video and um you can find these all you have to do is search for haunted house you can find lots of them i don't i probably won't link them below because my computer is very slow and i don't want to have to go find them again so these are the three that i got recently that i wanted to use this halloween and i used the spooky words that i printed out and cut up myself so i have like a whole bowl full of them um, <clears throat> so I have this one and it's all one piece, which is really cool. The door actually like would have flapped open cause it cut that part. Um, so I thought that was really cool, but I did glue it all down. I just used my Nuvo, um, clear drying glue and I had tweezers holding it. Um, so that one's got some pumpkins and some bats and a moon. So I thought that one was really cute. And then this one. I used my ghosts gather here on this one because there's little ghosties and they have this little cutout too, which I thought was really cute. Um, and this door was the same that would have opened and there's spider webs in the corner. And so I really like this uh, like silhouette on orange. And then this one, um, you probably wouldn't be able to tell by looking at it maybe, but um, my paper was too high or I didn't drag the image down to a uh, far enough in the uh, program <laughs> so it cut off the roof but it could be like that it's like this top here but it doesn't have anything anyway it was supposed to be pointy but it got cut off but I really like this one because of the drippy goo on the bottom and it cut these out surprisingly well I was very impressed so very thin branches while all of these started out a lot bigger and I had to size them to card size and so they did a really good job and then I just used spectacular night spook night uh, for that one and so I made those three and so I just wanted to share that with you um, I don't I'm not very good with my silhouette I basically know how to cut things or just resize them and cut them but if you have any questions let me know all I did was search haunted house and I found these three and I think there's a freebie today that's like a pumpkin I might cut him out at some point but I was just doing these for tonight so I just wanted to show that to you and uh, thank you for watching and I will have another video tomorrow bye